Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in a previous video, we looked at the different features of a dive computer and what to look out for when you're buying one. But one very important specific feature, uh, of course, is the screen. And there are a few different types of screen. Uh, I've got three computers in front of me today uh, and they all have different screens and they kind of cover the entire range of dive computers at this moment. Uh, so we're gonna take a closer look at the screens of dive computers. Okay, so first up, we have a segment display. Uh, so segment display is, um, they've been around for a long, long time and um, very simple. Um, you'll recognize it from any sort of digital watch that you would have had um, sort of growing up. These are great because they don't use a lot of battery power. Um, these will typically last for years on a single battery life as long as you're not sort of using it too much. Um, but what they do fall down on is sort of complicated information. So um, they have a very limited display in what they can sort of show. Um, they're getting a lot better with um, sort of adjusted segments, but, um, but like Air, for example, it's not perfect. You can read it, but um, but yeah, it's it's not perfect. Um, so they're they're a good sort of beginner. Um, you see segment displays on very um, sort of inexpensive budget um, sort of dive computers because it doesn't cost very much, doesn't use a lot of battery power. It's a great sort of initial starter. Um, but when you start to get into uh, more sort of complicated acronyms um, that come up on the screen, they can be quite complicated to try and understand what it's trying to tell you. Okay, moving up from that, uh, we have something very similar. Um, this is Dot Matrix. So Dot Matrix is using similar technology to, um, to the segments, except instead of big chunks, it uses lots of tiny little dots. And that allows it to um, create sort of more um, sort of complicated and, uh, and convoluted information. So it can write words out in full and uh, it can be much more sort of user friendly. Also means that you can start to have uh, sort of integrated digital compasses. Uh, with a segment display, you can't really have any kind of compass on that. But with a, uh, a dot matrix, yeah, you can have all this um, kind of moving text that can flow backwards and forwards. Uh, it's much more natural and much easier to see for the eye. And of course, the most recent one is a, uh, a sort of LED or LCD. Um, different technologies are coming out, but it's this kind of color screen. So color screens are fantastic because immediately you can understand what's going on. If everything's green or white, then everything's fine. Uh, as stuff soon starts turning uh, sort of amber and then red, you, need, you know that you need to start paying attention to that or something's wrong. Um, the downside to these are is that it uses up a lot of battery life. So a lot of these, they have a built-in rechargeable battery. Um, and they have a battery life of probably about 24 hours, 48 hours, depending on the model, uh, and of course how much you use it. They're, they're definitely the future. Um, they're very bright and easy to see even when you're under the water, especially if you go into a dark environment. The others, you need some kind of backlight or you need to shine a torch on it, whereas these, they serve as their own backlight. A lot of these will also have a, uh, a light sensor built into them, uh, so they adjust just like your mobile phone, your modern phone. Uh, as you go inside, it naturally dims. As you go somewhere brighter, it brightens itself up so you can still read it. But definitely the, uh, the color screen is definitely a, um, a benefit, so you can actually see what's going on. It's much more visual. You can have a lot more information on a single screen. Uh, it's definitely the way that more dive computers are going in the future. Okay, so that was a good look at the different screens that you can get on dive computers, but on our website, we've made it super easy for you to understand which is which. Uh, so on our dive computer department page, underneath every single dive computer, hit on that little compare tab and you can get a comparison chart and that will tell you exactly what type of screen it has. Or if you're only interested on a single computer, go onto that on the little features tab just above the description, that will tell you what type of dive screen it has but what type of dive screen is your favorite and tell us why just so that others can help make an informed decision thanks for watching and safe diving we are an online dive store serving the uk and the world for all your diving equipment needs so why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen